How you guys doing? I'm Kai with BMW Ben. Today we're gonna to go over the M1 and M2 buttons. Demo car is an M4, it's a 2017 model year. Let's jump on in and go over it. All right, so the M1 and M2 buttons are mounted on the steering wheel here. These are a feature that's specific to M cars, so not every vehicle will have this. But what the M1 and M2 buttons do is allow you to make presets for certain characteristics of the vehicle. So on an M car in the center console you have a variety of different characteristics that you can change. You can save your favorites on those on either the M1 or M2 buttons and there's a couple ways that you can do that. So one of the way you can program the M1 and M2 buttons is by pressing the buttons in the center console. So up at the very top row you have the DSC button which you can control the either MDM mode which is the M dynamic mode or the DSC off. For example, that's an example of one of the things you can program for the M1 or M2 button. So what you would do is give that a press, make your selection. It would show on the instrument cluster your current setting. Once you have all of your current settings in place, press and hold either the M1 or M2 buttons and it would save. You'd get a signal of a, a chime playing through the speakers to indicate you just saved everything. The other way that you can program the M1 and M2 buttons is by using the iDrive. So if you're on the main menu, you go into my vehicle and then down to M drive one or M drive two, then go through the different characteristics and make your preference selections. One of the ones that's different than actually going through and pressing the buttons is the head up display. So make sure that you set that correctly because there are two separate views in an M car. So that's our overview of the M1 and M2 buttons. If you have further questions, let us know BMW Ben. Give us a call or stop by. Kendall, let's start something great. 